first stage in the quest for realism was 3D vector graphics, which was just taking a wireframe line drawing and rotating it around in three dimensions for a simulation of how things moved in 3D dynamically. The next stage was hidden line elimination, where you were able to simulate actually opaque surfaces and get rid of the lines that would be blocked off by them. And so the objects looked much more realistic because lines disappeared as they went around corners. The next stage was faceted shading, which is the first time we were actually simulating how light reflects off of surfaces. With a simple mathematical model, you can make it look as though the light's coming from a particular direction, and the things that are facing towards it will be bright, things facing away from it will be darker. In order to make it look more realistic after that, you need to smooth over the, the facets to make the, the shading look continuous across the thing. That's called Garou shading, which makes the light go smoothly across an object rather than in jumps. The next stage is Fong shading, which is simulation of highlights, figuring out where the highlight would show up and how bright it would be, knowing where the light source was. Next is texture mapping, changing the color of the object at various locations on it according to a map or a photograph or some sort of data input to make color change from one spot to another on the object. Texture mapping led to a lot of variance because once you can change the color across an object, you can change other properties as well. For example, bump mapping changes the height of the object from one spot to the next, so the lighting model will simulate dents and bumps on the surface. The next step after that was ray tracing, which actually simulated multiple reflections in a scene. So you can see reflections of reflections of objects in the scene. At Bell Labs, creating the illusion of light rays bouncing off solid objects was an idea that consumed Turner Witted. Meanwhile, at Cornell University, another group was trying to recreate the elaborate reflections of diffused light in a complex scene with a technique called radiosity.